Hi, I'm Jared Nelson from the Investing Channel, and welcome to The Juice. Friday's jobs numbers fit nicely into this week as Jerome Powell testified before Congress yesterday. He admitted, much to no one's surprise, that inflation needs to be checked. For months, Fed officials believed inflation would ease as time went on. They expected supply chain congestion to work itself out and consumer demand to fade. But neither of those happened. Year-over-year -year inflation hit 6.2%, a level not seen in three decades. And unemployment improved to 4.6% in October. And while not as good as pre-pandemic, it's extremely low in a historical context. Friday's jobs report is expected to show the unemployment rate dropping to 4.5%, with average hourly earnings up 0.4%. The ADP payroll data released yesterday showed the private sector added 534,000 jobs in November versus estimates of 525,000, though it's down from the 570,000 the prior month. Powell effectively said taper is ending soon and higher rates are coming next year, but that's unlikely to snap demand through the holidays. However, it sets the stage for a spending pullback next summer from businesses and consumers. Right now, households have insane amounts of cash sitting on the sidelines, earning squat for interest. And debt for average investors is remarkably low. Higher rates should push stocks lower. But they may benefit retail. People with cash on the sidelines now aren't likely to drop it into markets in the face of a never-ending epidemic and sliding stocks. Instead, they're likely to realize gains on savings accounts and CDs, even if only slightly. Some economists are already talking about the Fed pulling an early 1980s-style move and raising rates as high as 15%. While that's not likely, even rates as high as 3 to 5% are likely to bring huge amounts of cash. The bottom line is this. The Fed cares about inflation. Now. Expect higher interest rates next year. Our bet is the June meeting. However, markets should start to price in the move after the first of the year. So, don't try to get ahead of the move until you start to see it happen. Despite what is likely, there is plenty that could change between now and then. That's all we have time for today on The Juice. Click, follow, and subscribe to The Juice email for your daily dose of market minerals.